Hey, this is Dave the Raider fan calling with a phone blitz about the Oakland Raiders offensive line and what the Raiders should be doing. Uh, I've seen rumors on the inter- on the internet that the Raiders are working out Richie in- Incognito. I don't like that idea one bit. Uh, hopefully that's not true, but it, it sounds like it's true. Uh, and th- the reason that it's a bad idea is because it's like the crazy of Barrett Robbins without the sympathy for mental illness. Because Barrett Robbins was bipolar when he took off before this. <laughs> right before the Super Bowl, which we should all remember very well. Uh, and so th- why they would think that the inco- Richie Incognito's solution there is kind of a mystery to me. Frankly, I think they'd be better off with a retread. They, they could get off the out of free agency right now, such as Jared Valdir, he played left tackle for the Raiders. Or Stefan Wisniewski, he played guard for the Raiders. Or Chance Warmack. And they they were considered busts, or Chance Warmack was considered a bust, but he's probably still better than what the Raiders uh, have right now. Uh, they could move Gabe Jackson over to left guard, plug Chance Warmack in at right guard. He's probably more serviceable than uh, the Denzel Good and some of these other backups they have. And it, Warmack was more of a run blocker anyway, which is what I think Gruden wants to do right now play off the right side, uh, open the running game, set up the play action. But if the Raiders have to come, uh, lead, uh, if the if Derek Carr has to lead a comeback, it's going to be a problem with uh, his uh, blind side being as weak as it is right now, which is why they, they could make, do something fairly simple, which is sign Veld here, Wisniewski, or uh, uh, Warmack and fill out the offensive line and basically isolate Colton Miller as the weak link who needs to get better in a hurry that and uh, kind of give him his training wheels I think he's capable of being a starting left tackle but right if at the moment he's going to be the goat because the pressure's on him to uh, protect the blind side and that's not going to happen which is why the Raiders need to, like I said, give him his training wheels. Uh, fill out the offensive line. Don't do dumb stuff like try to plug in backups such as Denzel Good at, as the starting left guard. Uh, they'd be better off get, just with a retread that is out, still out on the street and could be, come in uh, and play left guard for at least a year until the Raiders can draft a guard, which is... Speaking of which, that's my only complaint about their draft is that they completely neglected the guard spot and tackle when there were uh, players on the uh, on the board, players available for them like Dalton Reisner. Uh, but I mean, it is what it is. Uh, but I th- think, and I think they can still. Uh, but they they can they can still address that guard spot by. With like I said, it just, there's free agents out there that they could use. But why Richie Incognito? That guy's just a, a problem waiting to happen. He's just Barrett Robbins, like I said, without the sympathy for mental illness because he, he's just a, known as a big bully. Uh, what, uh, and why would you want why would you want him around any, anyway? Just bring him to bring him out of retirement. I think they would be better off in trying to get one of the old. Uh, fan favorites from the Hugh Jackson teams like Veldheer or Wisniewski uh, see if they want to come back to the Raiders for a year or two okay so that's my my take on the Raiders offensive line they need, they need to get a veteran retread and my, and that's and my only complaint about the draft is that their draft picks is that they neglected the guard spot they can still uh, address that in free agency, but not Richie Incognito. Raider Homer, this is Houston Raider Steve. Uh, Raider great Dan Connors just passed away recently. Um, he was um, the mentor for Phil Villapiano. Uh He was uh, from uh, Clearfield, Pennsylvania. He was a three-star sport at St. Mary's High School. And he was um, all American for the Flying Dutch when they had their undefeated seasons in 57, 58. 
He played, um, he was had a scholarship at the University of Miami. He was the defensive tackle there. And after that, he was drafted in the, uh, with the 15th pick in the second round of the American Football League draft by the Oakland Raiders. And he was also drafted that same year in 1964 by the um, Chicago Bears. And um, he was he played for the Raiders uh, from 1964 to 74, 11 seasons. He spent 25 years in the Raiders organization, and he was also a scout for the Raiders. And um, he played middle linebacker. Unfortunately, when he passed away, um, where, where he lived was in Pleasanton, the same place that John Madden lived. And he moved to San Luis Obispo, where he passed away recently in 78. And he was also, he played in 141 Raider games. He intercepted 15 passes, returning them for 232 yards and touchdowns of 75, 55, and 42 yards. He also recovered uh, 16 fumbles and returned two for a uh, touchdown. Phil Villapiano said that um, when he was drafted by the Raiders in 1971, that he was a mentor, uh, Dan Connors was. Uh, he would be out on the field and uh, he would point or signal over to where he wanted Phil Villapiano to be because Phil said, sometimes I didn't know where to be at, as far as position on the defense. And uh, he's a Raider great, Raider legend. And uh, just want to honor the memory and uh, thank you. Thank uh, Dan Connors for his uh, service and uh, contributions to the Oakland Raiders. And uh, God bless.